Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Rags to Riches is being started in Creator Sim. Right now you're watching a sped up version of the makeover that I gave Anna. Basically, I just wanted to change what she was wearing. I was sick and tired of seeing the same outfit over and over again, so I decided to change her everyday outfit, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. Now, if you remember in the first episode, if you haven't watched it, I will have a link to it in the description and I'll have one of those little card thingies, so go check it out. But in the first episode, I said that I really wanted to spend simoleons on her outfits, basically, because that's what we do in the real world. And, and I felt like I like to play my game realistically. So I came up with this little chart. I will have it edited into the video somewhere of how much things would be so for example a regular top would be 25 simoleons regular bottoms will be 40 simoleons yes in the chart i use pounds but that's because iphone keyboards don't have the simoleon symbol on there so just bear with me um regular full body outfit 60 simoleons designer top 200 simoleons now when i say designer i mean i basically mean any brand any branded outfit or top or bottoms ranging from a brand like Fila to Off-White. Now I know it's a massive like difference between the two brands but I, it's a very simplistic chart. I didn't want it too complicated just in case some of you guys want to try it out. I don't know if there are any other Sims YouTubers who do who have a chart like this in their game or like use some sort of method like this but I want to use it and I feel like it will change the game. So yeah, designer top, 200 simoleons, designer bottoms, 250 simoleons, and just any shoes, 100 simoleons. Now I have calculated how much this is and I'll be deducting it from Anna's household funds. Altogether, it is 255 simoleons, so it's not that much. I feel like her style will change as she grows and as she aims to become more famous because we are going down the fame route so as she gets higher in the ranks of course she's going to want to splash her cash a bit more buying more branded outfits and designer shoes and handbags and whatever but for now she is quite average you know she has like a bit of a quirky style that i love and yeah i do hope you enjoy the outfits that i gave her nothing too crazy just basic outfits so yeah, every time I give her a makeover, I will be following this chart and deducting the um, amount we spend from her household funds. Now, there's, I've been grinding, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing this game for around two days and a lot has happened. Um, we got the money tree. Woo, we got the money tree. Um, I wanted to start playing once the money tree was actually like, it had grown, but right now it's just dirt. <laughs> Um, it was taking way too long to grow and I just wanted to start recording so yeah the money tree hasn't grown but hopefully in like the next day or two it should have and also I need to turn on auto aging because I turn that off I always turn that off when I'm playing off camera so Anna doesn't grow up into a young adult without you guys seeing it so anyway let me come out of creatism and just show you what has happened off camera if you do enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe if you're new, it means so much. Comment down something down below, I'll probably respond. And let me stop rambling and let's just get into the actual gameplay. Okay, so we're back at Anna's spot. And if you see down in the left corner, at the bottom of the screen, look at all those simoleons. Remember last episode, we had like zero simoleons. Guys, when I say I've been on that grind, I swear, like she's just been painting, painting continuously and selling it on the, this thing. What's it called again? Like a painting selling thingy. Yeah, I've been selling it on that thing. And they sell for like, some of them sell for like 10,000 simoleons. It's crazy. Oh, also she is level 10 of the painting skill. She has been on that grind when i say i've been on that grind guys i mean it 
so yeah she's on level 10 of the painting skill so her paintings from now on should be excellent quality or a masterpiece here is the money tree it's still dirt but hopefully it will grow soon and we can collect the fruit from that tree and start planting more um last episode i did mention that i wanted to buy a share home that i built not too long ago it is 178,000 simoleons now that's a lot of money oh come and repair this toilet yeah that's a lot of money um and of course the last episode i was after i finished recording it i was really thinking is it possible for us to actually get to 178,000 simoleons because that's a lot of money and that's a lot of work but now seeing that we're almost at 60,000 i definitely think it's possible like if we just grind with the painting also gonna get that guitar skill up because i haven't touched that <laughs> off camera but yeah if we just grind with the painting and the guitar and the and the money tree we should get there in no time and then we can start focusing on her fame i think that will be so much fun <gasps> we have got a little sprout guys finally i was really waiting for something to happen come and talk to the money tree this is what's gonna make you the thousands so yeah I'm excited to continue making some money and I know what you're thinking the house is still looking bare we've got a tv now we've got a computer in the bedroom we've got a little plant got a sink in the kitchen finally still have basic furniture not much room in her bedroom a very basic bed you know nothing too special and we have all this money I just want to save up for this share house because I think that's going to be like the peak of the series and a lot of drama is going to happen and oh ah, I feel like it's going to be so much fun and I hope you guys are as, as excited as I am for it oh yeah I didn't mention this um when we were in creator sim but I gave Anna a different hairstyle because I feel like she's been living on her own for a while and I feel like her hair would have grown out a little bit so I gave her a hairstyle where her hair is just a little bit longer, not nothing too crazy. Oh, let me turn on auto aging. Yeah, while I was playing off camera, it did say that um, she was going to age up soon. So I changed her lifespan to long just so we have more time with her as a teenager because i think she's done quite a lot like she's done quite well as a teenager but as a young adult we're gonna focus on the whole fame thing because i do want her to live in like the hills like the pinnacle top in the um in delso valley i feel like that's when you know you've made it you know from nothing to like ri like in the richest area in the sims worlds that's that's a massive achievement Oh, I don't know if any of you guys remember in the last episode, I did mention that I wanted to have a housewarming party. Um, it may happen. It may happen. We might wait until we have enough for the share house. But yeah, I think we might wait till we have the share house to um, have something like a housewarming party. Because right now it's just the grind, you know, grinding for that money. Oh, I need to deduct... Um, how much we spent on her outfits. 58,901 simoleons minus 255. Okay, so we are setting it to 58,646 simoleons. There we go. Yeah, mental maths is not my strong suit. <laughs> Had to whip out the calculator let's start selling oh look at look at this display of beautiful painting she's done it really shows how far she's come before we used to have like one painting in the corner to sell but now we have a whole like gallery full okay there's no one on the streets okay people are coming six thousand simoleons nice 
12,000. Oh, she's feeling really stressed because her mom's here. By the way, if any of you guys didn't know, this is her mom. I think she's a really pretty sim. But as you can tell, they do not get along. Oh, she's way too stressed to continue selling. Oh, okay. Um, De-stress. Watch a movie. You know, relax. Relax on your couch. Okay, we're back to being confident. Get your fun up a bit. Oh, now we're tense again. So all the paintings have been sold. Let's get your needs up a little bit. And then continue painting some more. Oh, by the way, guys, last episode, I did mention that I was going to give as many townies as possible, like, a makeover. Because I didn't want to see townies like this roll around in random CC slash Maxis outfits and stuff. I wanted my townies to be looking cute in their alpha. I did get around to doing around, like, a few, a few, a few townies. When I mean a few, I mean two. I only did two because I was I was just caught up in playing the game and getting as much money as possible. So I only was able to do two townie makeovers. They were both aliens, which was kind of weird because there's never aliens in my game. So I was I was surprised that that like I just chose two random townies and they were both aliens. So yeah, I hope to do more as future episodes roll in. So, um, yeah, hopefully by um, a few episodes time, I will have done quite a lot of towny makeovers. Oh, I should really get her like an actual fridge. <laughs> 89,000 simoleons and we were using a mini fridge. <laughs> Guys, I'm really just deeping it. Like we haven't even used the money tree yet. And we're already almost at 100,000 simoleons. Like it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit how quickly we have been able to make so much money. And we don't even have one money tree. Like it hasn't even fully grown yet. It's just kind of mind blowing to me. Nina De Rosio is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. <gasps> oh, should, yeah, let's go, let's go. She's kind of sad. She needs some social interaction. Okay, so we're at Nina's house. I did get this house off the gallery. It's a very nice house in like the hills area of Oasis Spring. Wow, this is a really nice house. So yeah, let's go inside. Like guys, no joke, but this is the type of, type of lifestyle I want Anna to be living just like a massive home with a bunch of bedrooms you know a nice big kitchen this is the dream that Anna has one day and I feel like she she can achieve it she's working so hard and I definitely feel she can achieve it double glass doors into the office like this is definitely, definitely something that Anna wants. Oh my goodness. A whole bed outside. A very romantic like area. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Outdoor stairs, probably leading to like the master bedroom. It's just a really nice home, guys. I feel like Anna coming here really opens her eyes to like the potential life she could be living one day. I feel like it's motiv It's very motivating. Even for me as like someone who's just playing the game, it's very motivating to, to like know people actually live like this. And anyone can achieve this. It's just about working hard and knowing the right way to do it. Oh, this is Nina's dad. As you can see, we aren't we aren't friends or necessarily like him at all. But um, let's just say hi. 
Let's just try to get on his his happy side, you know? I think he's a single father, so he doesn't have like a wife or anything. And of course he has a lot of money. Because look at this house, you know? A single father owning such a massive home. So maybe he's looking for, I don't know, a wife? <laughs> I don't know if I want to go down that route with Anna. I don't think she's into like marrying or dating older men. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. He becomes like her sugar daddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, wow, he came to sit closer to her. Whoa. Oh, and Nina's getting up. And now it's just Anna and Nina's dad. This is kind of awkward. Okay, he's making conversation. Making conversation. You're hungry? Take some of these hot dogs. Oh, you don't have to get up. But okay, you're going to sit opposite him. Okay, nothing weird's happening, which is good. It's not like I was like waiting for something weird to happen. Yeah, I think it's just a casual conversation between a father and his daughter's friend. Nothing, nothing weird. Okay, so we're back home. Oh, I never put this on there. There we go. We'll sell that tomorrow because right now we're really tired and we're a little stinky. So we're going to go and take a shower and just go straight to bed. No new improvements with the money tree. How long do these things take to grow? Because it's taking, it's taking its sweet time. Okay, we've got some more paintings on the selling thingy majiggy. Let's see how much we'll make today. Oh my gosh, it's Nina's dad. It's Nina's dad. Maybe he's just come to support, you know. His daughter's friend's business. Let's. Oh! <gasps> he bought that painting for 11,000 simoleons! Oh my gosh, guys, we have hit the 100,000 simoleons mark. Okay, she's a bit tense. Let's end. Yatsa, let's come over here and chill with Jade. Do you think he did that on purpose? Nina's dad, do you think? Do you think he did that on purpose? I don't I don't know how what to think of that. Okay, what's this woman doing in my house? Get out. <laughs> Please leave. Go 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 away! All the all you strangers, leave. You come to buy a painting and then you think you can just walk into Anna's home. What the hell? But anyway, back to um <laughs> Nina's dad. Do you think he did that on purpose? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell. He spent 11,000 simoleons. 11,000. I don't know. Only time can tell. Okay. So I just sold another batch of paintings. And we are at 121,664 simoleons. I definitely think by next episode, we can get that... Um share house and i'm very excited to get started there i don't want to end this episode until this money tree has at least grown a little at least a little bit <gasps> look who just barged in to anna's house i don't think we've seen him like in person in the series yet but he did call at one point but this is zaylan Anna's ex. He just barged into her house. What is he doing here? Um, it's kind of awkward. Oh, you really need to pee. Um, Zaylan, can you like get out the bathroom so she can take a dump? <laughs> Bro. Okay. Come use the bathroom. Oh, they high five! Oh, that was so cute. Oh, he's really sad. Why is he so sad? Okay, we need to get to the bottom of this. Let's um. Mm, let's discuss sad mood. 
Oh, she's not even gonna do what I told her to do. Oh, thank you for looking after the plants, though. Go over and discuss a sad mood. Why do you look so bitter? Oh man. What could have made him so sad? Okay, it's your job to cheer him up. Even though you guys aren't together anymore, at least... I don't know, Anna's a good person. She wouldn't just let him, like, mope around like that. I saw the option just now. Let's ask to cloud gaze. There we go, ask to cloud gaze. Oh my gosh, do what I tell you to do, Anna. <coughs> you're gonna stress me out, I swear you're gonna stress me out. Ask the cloud gaze. Okay, this is really cute. <laughs> this is really cute. And now he's inspired, he's not even sad anymore. You guys are good for each other, like seriously. You both were in a bad mood and now? Oh man. Okay, I kind I kind of ship it, guys. I kind of do. I, I don't think I would, but I kind of do ship it. But um I don't know, it's too soon to tell. I feel like we're early in the series. Everything's up in the air. Anything can happen at this point, you know? She's not even thinking about romance right now. Stop cloud gazing. Get over here. Oh, there's nothing to stock. Well, get over here and paint some more paintings. I refuse to end this episode without this money tree growing a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Not asking for any money fruits yet. But I just want you to just sprout a bit, you know? Is that, is that too hard? Is that is that too much to ask, game? Is that too much to ask? Because you're taking a bloody long time to grow. I've been recording for almost an hour now. And you are still in the same state that you were at the beginning of the recording. So as you guys can see here, Anna ages up in three days. Now she's going to be turning into a young adult. Oh my gosh, her fame level's completely gone. Do you know why? It's because we've been selling paintings on this thing and we haven't been selling them directly to like the the art gallery or like a collector or something. So we're not getting any fame from it. So our fame level must have depleted and now we're gonna have to start from the beginning again. Oh man, this fame thing is not easy. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, she ages up in three days. She's gonna become a young adult, so I feel like to celebrate, I feel like she should go to like the club or something, you know, get drunk, have a few drinks with her friends, meet some people, you never know, some more friends. I feel like she doesn't really have any male friends or any male influence in her life, especially as she doesn't talk to her dad and she doesn't get along with him. Going out to the club and meeting some people, I think will do her some good, you know? <gasps> oh my goodness gracious we have money fruit guys we have money fruit yay oh my gosh i'm so oh uk you really need to pee go and do that right now but we have the money tree and it has finally grown it has finally grown oh my gosh okay um, I'm thinking, is it worth selling the money fruit that is on that tree right now or planting the fruit and making more money trees? Because our main goal right now is just 178,000 simoleons. I'm at 121. So I'm thinking, which one's worth doing? I think the whole painting and selling it on this thingy over here still don't know the name of this but yeah, i think painting and selling it on that 
makes a lot of money we just can't do it like every day you know what? i think we're just gonna sell the money for <gasps> eight thousand hmm. and yeah the money the money trees take way too long to grow i think we're just gonna keep this one money tree and just sell all the fruit on it so right now we are at 139,000 simoleons. We are very, very close to our goal of the share house. I think if I play a little off camera by the next episode, we will have the share house guys. Like I will be opening the next episode with a tour of the share house, hopefully. So yeah, I think it's, I think I should end it here, this episode here. It wouldn't be a rags to riches if we didn't end it with Anna Tense. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I am having so much fun playing this series and I have so many plans for what's to come. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. Do look forward to the next episode because I know it's gonna be a good one. And yeah, please do like and subscribe, guys. It means so much. As I said in the beginning, comment down something below. I will probably reply and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.